What is mise-en-scene? That's probably the reason why you're watching this video. However, mise-en-scene is often an undefined term and needs explaining. Technically, mise-en-scene means placing on stage. It includes the things that movies have in common with plays. That means props, lighting, wardrobe, blocking, and the number of layers in the scene foreground, middle ground, and background. It also includes a few things that stage plays don't really have. For instance, movies have movable cameras to represent the otherwise fixed audience of a play. That is to say, the aspect ratio of the frame, the camera angles, focus, lens focal length, and any color treatments to the film or video. You may notice while watching Game of Thrones on HBO that everything at Castle Black looks very blue. That includes the snow and the people. This is part of the mise-en-scene. Stanley Kubrick was a master of beautiful mise-en-scene, and he loves long takes. One place where this is particularly apparent is in the penultimate scene in 2001 A Space Odyssey, where astronaut Dave Bowman lives out his life in a mysterious glowing room, watched over by the monolith. The furniture, the colors, the light, the placement of objects, the symmetry, and the asymmetry are all done to create a particular beauty. Replace one chair with a yard sale discovery, and the whole frame is hit with a hammer and knocked askew. Do some films have this and others do not? Oscar Wilde in The Picture of Dorian Gray said, there's no such thing as a moral or an immoral book. Books are well written or badly written. That is all. Mise-en-scene is like this. All movies have it, but in some it's very good and in others it's not very good. And sometimes this matters and sometimes it doesn't. A great deal of thought went into the mise-en-scene that makes up Lawrence of Arabia. Camera angles, placement of actors, and props were very carefully considered in each frame by the director David Lean, cinematographer Freddie Young, and a host of other people including costumers and stylists. Mise-en-scene represents your overarching goal as a filmmaker, your style, your personal artistry. It wraps up so many elements of filmmaking that you've already learned about, from composition to focal length to the use of negative space. The way in which you put these things together will create your own particular mise-en-scene. Pay attention to the way all of these elements come together in the next movie or television you watch. Continued learning and practice, as well as taking refreshers on the basics, will help keep your skills sharp. Check out our video courses to stay on top of your game. Find a course by visiting videomaker.com courses or click the link in the description.